Final Fantasy 16 comes with New Game Plus at launch, which is already amazing. But there's much more to your second playthrough than you might think, including remixed enemy encounters, new upgrade levels and materials, and the most powerful weapon in the game. But first, let's talk about how to access New Game Plus, as there are a couple of things you want to keep in mind before starting your second playthrough. When you finish the game, you will be asked to make a clear save, which are marked by the star icon. You can just load your clear save from the menu, which will have you spawn before the final mission so then you can do all the side content and get all the best upgrades you missed. The most important thing to do is upgrade your potion capacity as you're definitely going to need the extra potions in New Game Plus. Both quests that grant a capacity upgrade have weird science in the quest name and start at Owain in mid's dungeon over here in the hideaway. Next to that you can do the blacksmith blues quest chain to unlock blueprints for some of the game's most powerful weapons and gear. We did a video on how to get these blueprints and craft the weapons which I will link to in the description. Your gear, weapons, ability points and potion capacity upgrades all carry over so it's nice to get these on your clear save. Although you will of course find better gear and weapons in New Game Plus so when it comes to that it's more of a head start. After you've gotten everything you wanted it's time to make a new clear save with these unlocks and select it when picking the New Game Plus option from the main menu. The game will then ask you to pick a difficulty and for the true New Game Plus experience you have have to pick the Final Fantasy mode. If you pick story or action focused, you'll simply replay through the exact same campaign with no changes apart from the fact that you now start with all icons and super over leveled. So if you enjoy the feeling of being incredibly powerful and making the entire campaign a cakewalk, you can do that, but if you want to experience the new content a second playthrough has to offer, you have to play it on Final Fantasy mode. Once you select this Final Fantasy difficulty, you cannot swap during your playthrough, which will make sense given how much it adds and changes. The game will also ask you if you want to skip the Phoenix Gate prologue, which is basically the full demo, so you can pick up right before you rescue Jill and encounter Sid for the first time. Regardless of where you start the game, you'll notice that enemies in Final Fantasy mode are at a much higher level, even early on. The first soldiers I fought were level 43, whereas I started my playthrough at level 45. So that's already a very different experience from replaying the game in story or action focused mode, but there is more to it than that. Final Fantasy mode namely raises the level cap to 100. During your regular playthrough you'll cap out at 50 so this means that in New Game Plus the level cap is doubled compared to your first playthrough. You'll be earning more than enough XP to make it through these new levels though as I had already hit 50 by the time I did the Garuda boss fight. But before that point you will have already noticed another big change that the Final Fantasy difficulty makes which is the remixed enemy encounters. As soon as you leave the hideaway you encounter different and more difficult enemies. Although from what I've played this change does not apply to the open world sections where you will still encounter the same enemies but at a higher level, the more linear levels are very different though. To give you an example, on your first playthrough of the Great Wood mission you will encounter the Dragon Avis mini boss, Fafnir and the Midnight Raven to close out the level. But in Final Fantasy mode you will already have fought a Minotaur and an Ooze before reaching Fafnir and in between Fafnir and the Raven the game also throws a chimera at you. So this increases both the difficulty and enemy variety by a huge amount. Especially the chimera showing up is awesome as it's an enemy you only encounter very late into your first playthrough and because of that you don't get to fight it very often. But now you start off your first proper mission fighting one as a mid boss which I just love. Some changes are more subtle like adding some healing enemies to an encounter or swapping some pretty weak flies out for more dangerous raptors. So where I imagine a lot of players found their first playthrough a bit too easy, this is way more challenging right off the bat, which is a very welcome change. By the way, if you liked the video so far, be sure to leave a like and subscribe as well as we got more Final Fantasy 16 videos coming your way. Now in order to deal with these more challenging enemy encounters, you'll be able to craft some more powerful weapons during your second playthrough as well. And I'm not just talking about the Ultima weapon, the best weapon in the game, I will actually get to that one in a bit. But no, for New Game Plus there are also new upgrade levels for your weapons to make them even more powerful. Now unfortunately you cannot upgrade your plus two weapons still in your inventory from the first playthrough to plus three, you'll have to buy the plus three version from Charon or craft the plus four version at the blacksmith in order to get going. But that does mean that the same rules for buying versus crafting still apply in New Game Plus. While you can craft the plus four version outright, it's better to buy the plus three version and then craft that to plus four to save crafting resources and then get it to the new max 
next level, which is called Reforged. These new upgrade levels don't change anything about a weapon's look, by the way, so apart from the Ultima weapon, don't expect any new appearances in your second playthrough. You'll see something similar with belts and bracers, so the same items showing up but at higher upgrade levels, and for some of these new upgrades, better quality materials are also required. So things like Meteorite and Dragon Claws drop on the flawless quality in New Game Plus and are needed for these new upgrades, while more regular materials like Magic Ash and Wireite stay the same across both playthroughs. Which is actually good, since you keep your inventory from your clear save, so if you had a lot of materials in your first playthrough, those will help you during your second too. And if you've checked your inventory, you might have also noticed a new material item that kind of appeared out of nowhere called the Utterance of Creation. You want to hang on to it, because although it will take a while before you get to use it, it is required to craft the best weapon in the entire game, the Ultima weapon. Next to the Utterance of Creation, we need two powerful weapons that you're only able to get very late into the main story in New Game Plus. The first of which is the Everdark Reforged, which is the final version of the blade you upgrade with Iconic Shard, starting with the one you get after beating Garuda. And even if you sold your regular Stormcry in your first playthrough, you get to craft the newly reforged one from scratch in New Game Plus, so you don't need to worry about that. And while that's already quite a bit of work, for our other weapon we need the reforged version of the Gotterdammerung. Luckily, the process for getting this is the same as during a regular playthrough, so again, check the video I linked in the description. Once you finally manage to do that, you can craft the best weapon in the entire game, the Ultima weapon, with an attack and stagger rating of 700. For comparison, the Gotterdammerung reforged, so the upgraded version of the next best weapon in the game has a rating of 625 in both stats, so upgrading it into the Ultima weapon is a huge improvement. Now next to gear and weapons, your amulets can also be upgraded in Final Fantasy mode. At first I was a bit disappointed because I thought I was just getting the same amulets as I was during my first playthrough. And well, that is technically true, but there is a very good reason for that. Because if you now check the upgrade tab at the blacksmith, you'll notice there's an extra category now for upgrading accessories. So for instance, upgrading the badge of might you get after the Greatwood mission to plus one raises the attack bonus from seven to 20, which is more than double. Not only does this mean that some of your favorite accessories can now become even better, it also makes the ability focused ones way more useful. These will double their bonuses, meaning the damage increase on rising flames goes from 10 to 20%, or the cooldown reduction on flames of rebirth is decreased by 24 seconds instead of 12. And if you want to grind out some resources, the items that upgrade your AP, gill, and experience gain can also be upgraded once you can buy them again, so farming for those will become even more effective on your second playthrough. Some items even have a third upgrade tier, which requires you to combine two plus one versions of that accessory. As far as I know, you can only get each item once per playthrough, so I think grabbing these means you'll have to do a third and fourth run too. And there is one other new thing in New Game Plus that you can access by going to the Arete Stone. When you select Arcade Mode, you can choose to play levels in the Ultimaniac difficulty, which will really up the challenge even further. Not only do enemies hit much harder in this mode, you are also limited on healing resources as you start with only a single potion and a single high potion. To make matters even worse, there's no checkpoint system in place, meaning that if you die replaying a level in Ultimaniac mode, you're dropped all the way back to the beginning. And since it's available only in Arcade mode, each completed run will be scored as well, so you get to brag about completing a level on this mode and how well you did. Honestly, it was a really fun experience not being able to make it past the second encounter in a level you normally breeze through without a care. I highly recommend trying some Ultimaniac levels in New Game Plus when you've unlocked Final Fantasy mode. Subscribe to not miss out on future Final Fantasy 16 videos and leave a like if you enjoyed this one. If you want, you can watch our previous video on the best abilities in the game by clicking on the screen. I will see you in the next one, goodbye.